Okay, I'm living for this. <laughs> this is like, hello, 90s, I'm back. Hey there, gorgeous. Happy Frugal Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. Such a joy to see you. I've had a lot of requests for this trending makeup look, this latte makeup look, if you're not familiar with it. It's a throwback to the 90s, I feel like. A lot of warm tones, perfect for fall. Uh, yeah, it, that's the best way to describe it. Browns, monochromatic. And I'm gonna show you how to do it using everything from the drugstore under $10. Funny enough, when I was putting makeup together for this look, I came across my e.l.f. palette. I love you a latte, I mean, come on. I'm gonna be using this shade specifically from the palette. The other one I'm using is the e.l.f. Cream and Sugar palette, and I'm mainly using it for this eyeshadow right here. What I'm doing is I'm taking that matte brown. I have two kittens playing with a bag right now. I'm taking this shade and I'm going to use it in the crease and I'm also bringing it down onto the outer half of the lid and up into the outer V a little bit and I'm leaving a blank spot intentionally right there on the inner half of the lid. The fluffier your brush is here the better the more blown out the application will look. Then I'm taking a blending brush and going over any harsh edges to soften the lines then I'm taking that light shimmery shade from the Cream and Sugar palette. You can apply this with your finger too in this step. I'm going to be using a flat brush here from Crown. This is the C510. And I'm applying it into that corner of the eye just a little bit and blending it into the brown. If you wanted to keep this to a more monochromatic look, you could also use this shade from the cream and sugar palette and that would give you a more bronze type appeal with this look either one would look fantastic next product i'm using is a favorite of mine i have been really loving this this is a sephora coal eyeliner the shade that i'm using is deep brown if you want something that is waterproof smudge proof stays all day ten dollars it's one of the best eyeliner pencils I own. Best part is it does not dry down right away. You have some time to work with it. So if you like to smudge, if you like to blend, oh, you would love this. It's such a wonderful formula. So I'm going to apply this on the lash line. Using a Q-tip, I am going to smudge that. The idea with this is it's supposed to be a very soft, blown out, at least that was my impression of it, a soft, blown out kind of look here. Oh, well just make yourself right at home. Oh, okay, well just make yourself right at home. Look at this. Can you see him? Look at this cat. Eli. <laughs> I haven't put my fall decorations up yet and it's probably a good thing. For my brows today I'm using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Chocolate which is a favorite because it's so easy to apply. Coats every hair, it stays there, and even applies onto bare skin. So I chose to go with the Kiss Lashes today in the style Ruffle. I Yes! Woo! Nothing like a good lash to make you feel, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even if it is 11 o'clock at night and I'm gonna be washing this off, it's okay. So for the rest of the face here, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I need to wet my sponge. I really don't wanna get up, but I'm gonna have to. Maybe I don't. It's still a little damp from when I washed it. Yeah, <laughs> I really don't like Having to get up and wet my sponge. I know, it's like, really? You're complaining about this? Yes, I am. You need to invent something for the makeup table where you just put the sponge in and it gets wet. I saw somebody try to do that, but apparently based on the reviews, it didn't work out so well, but something for the future maybe, I don't know. I didn't used to be like this. It's only been since I do everything and I get everything for everybody and it's like, uh, it's like, well, you know what? You get to a certain point in the day where I, I, 
I don't want to get up anymore. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Every time I wear this foundation, I'm reminded of how much I love it. It's amazing. Okay, then for the under eye area, I am using the e.l.f. Flawless Under Eye Brightening Pen because again, it's another favorite. Fabulous. What are you doing over there? Late July sea salt lemon chips are the best chips I've ever had. You're bringing chips in here. Yeah. Let's take a quick break here. Dangerous over here. That elf concealer is so amazing. I still can't get over it. I mean, I've been using it for, I feel like a couple of years now, and it's still one of my favorites. I'm going to set. Am I going to set? Do I have to do anything else? No. Powder. Okay, I'm having powder products for the rest of the face. So I am going to set my under eye area and my T-zone with the Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. I'm gonna take a very small amount of this and lightly go over those areas. Because, because this powder is so pigmented, it's amazing all by itself. But I like to use it just to set everything softly. And then the whole thing with this look is that the skin is warmed up. It's got a lot of brown, <laughs> brown to it. So we're going to take the NYX Matte Bronzer. I haven't used this one in a while. This is in the shade Light. And I'm going to sweep that from about right there up into the temple and bring it down really blend this into the skin. I don't usually apply bronzer anywhere else. I mean, I know some people apply it to their forehead and whatnot, but I mean, hello, my forehead is this big. <laughs> Where am I gonna apply it? So yeah, I, I typically just avoid this up here and only apply it to the temple area and then down the cheeks. The brush, by the way, is Eve Pearl's Fan Highlighter Brush. Oh my. <laughs> Such a favorite that the number has worn off on it. But if you just search for Eve Pearl Fan Highlighter, this is my favorite brush. And then on top of that, I'm using a brown blush, surprise, surprise, <laughs> from Wet n Wild. This is in Naked Brown, Naked Brown, and it's pretty much the same color. It's a little warmer. Warm up the cheeks a little bit more. So I'm gonna apply it right about there and blend. And then finally for the lips, I'm using two old favorites I haven't picked up in a while. First one being the L'Oreal, what is this called? <laughs> Color Riche Matte Lip Liner in the shade Mating Call, which is a beautiful nude. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? I love this shade. And then I'm picking up a lipstick from NYX this is in the shade a la mode and I'll just put it right next to that lipstick so you can see the combo I'm creating here Isn't that beautiful very 90s brown line line the lips first we'll add that lipstick over the top I kind of I want to add a little bit more contrast on the lips I'm liking the whole monochromatic thing that's working here though I'm applying Milani's understatement lip liner in the shade Shoop and this was an old one from not that old the salt and pepper collection they released salt and pepper excuse me and so I'm just going to use this on the outer corners and add some definition I need a brush. Okay, I'll just blend a little bit more here. And I'll just clean up the edges a little bit. Different. I wanted to do something different today other than what I traditionally do, and I like this. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, and you're always welcome to subscribe if you want to hang out with me more in the future. And I hope that you found this look helpful. Let me know what you thought about the latte makeup trend. Is it one that you're going to be trying or one that you're going to be skipping? Let me know below. I rather like it. I mean, I, I'm, I've been really into neutrals lately anyway, and this is such a 90s throwback to me that I'm like, ah, it's nice for a change. And it's especially nice for fall because we're already doing those warmer tones anyway. And if you want to change this up a little bit more, I would go so far as to say you could also just do a really beautiful berry lip and keep the rest of the face neutral. 
You could also do like a really powerful purple lip. That's what I would do in the future if I were going to change this up a little bit more just to inject more boldness, more life into it, or you could keep it just like this, it's really up to you. But let me know your thoughts. And if you're interested in anything I used here today, everything will be listed and linked for you below in the description box. I hope you have a beautiful weekend ahead. I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home. And I look forward to seeing you again next week.